Well, hello everyone. I'm Pastor Smith, and we have another devotion, one of the final devotions from the Old Testament. And we are here in 2 Chronicles chapters 32 through 34, and recapping uh, many of the same events that we've already read about months ago in the book of Kings. Uh, but today, these three particular chapters, talking about three particular kings who reigned in Judah, uh, I see the, the main theme of repentance. And if we, if we need a little bit of a refresher there on that word repentance, or the word repent, it means literally to turn, to turn around. That's the way that sometimes um, I, I like to teach it is it's to, to do a 180, to turn around uh, from away from your sin and to turn back and face God and receive his forgiveness. And so uh, when, when God tells people to repent, which is a, a common theme in the scriptures, um, it, it is in some ways it's both a uh, command as well as, as an offer or a promise the command is, you know, turn away from sin. It's going to destroy you. But then the offer, uh, the promise is, um, and I will forgive you. I will forgive you. We see this play out uh, in with the life of King Hezekiah, who is very prideful, struggles with the sin of pride in his heart. And we see in chapter 32 that um, this is a big issue for him, but he does humble himself for the pride of his heart and the Lord uh, relents upon uh, the, the, the punishment, the, the disaster that he was going to send against him and his people. Uh, so there it is. There is a um, repentance leading to forgiveness. Chapter 33 is an extreme example. This is the, you know, um, really God, can anybody be saved? Can anybody be forgiven for their sins? King Manasseh. Um, sometimes referred to as like the worst king um, that Judah or Israel. He, he's definitely in the running, at least. Um, sacrificing his children to false gods. He's, you know, worshiping the, the whole host of heaven. Basically, that means, you know, he's worshiping every god known to man. Um, did much evil in the sight of the Lord. And then finally, um, when his enemies are taking him away, uh, he cries out to God, he repents, and, and the scriptures say that then he, he knew the Lord was God. He knew the Lord was God. He repented, and God forgave him. Um, extreme example of forgiveness that God gives. But there's, that, there's always that gracious offer waiting for us, waiting for anyone, when they turn away from their sin, turn to God. When, when the word of God works, um, that law <laughs> leading to receiving the gospel. And then finally, uh, King Josiah, he was eight years old when he became king, and he, he's a pretty well-known king, uh, but Josiah basically repents um, on behalf of the whole nation because uh, he, under his reign, the law of God, basically the, the books of Moses are found again, and Josiah... Uh, leads reforms so that people um, begin reading God's law, God's will for their lives again. So Josiah leads this entire, this repentance for the whole nation, where they, they go from a, a nation worshiping many, many gods, Yahweh just being, just being one of them, just one in the crowd, to now um, centering their faith and their life upon the one true God who led them out of Egypt and who has been with them all this time. Repentance and, and God and God blesses the nation again. Repentance. It's a big word. It is uh, something that we also are called to do. We, God commands us to repent, but then also waiting for us is that offer and that promise of forgiveness in Jesus Christ our Lord. It is not a singular event that happens in our lives. Although I guess, you know, maybe at the very end of life if that's if that's how it plays out, but but it is more more likely that for the Christian, it is a daily thing. It is a regular rhythm of our life that we repent of our sins again and again, and again and again, we receive that forgiveness and those comforting words of gospel that, that we have only through the work of Jesus. So I hope that this 
little, um, I hope that this little devotion here today, finally um, on Second Chronicles, these some of these final chapters has been uh, encouraging for you, and I pray that that God will will bless you uh, as you finish up the Old Testament and then go into the New with our Read Scripture Challenge. Blessings on your week.